It's happened! The Texas Rangers win the World Series! When the season ends, is baseball really over? Of course not. It's early morning practices. It's pickup games, whenever and wherever. It's the anticipation for the game today and the crack of the bat tomorrow. It's history. And it's groundbreaking. It's a dream that becomes a reality. It's believing through all the stops along the way to the journey home. When it's in your DNA, it's always time to play ball. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll and getting the start. Eric Skubal. What do you have on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance. Man, it's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fun and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Ground ball, Torkelson. To second, pulls him off the bag. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. And now it's Juan Soto. Base hit into center field. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Golden opportunity right here. He was late there, strike one. No ball, one strike. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Fall off foul. A strikeout. Perhaps on the with double play or get yourself a double but you've got to make some pitches. That one the other way. Base hit. One run is in. And they don't push it. Runner holds it third. Base is loaded now with still nobody out. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. 
Started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. You connect and it jumps off your bat like that. You're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tarek Skubal gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. New pitcher for the Tigers, Joey Wentz. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Here's Alex Verdugo. And that one in the air center field. Meadows brings it in. Then there's one down. Right behind the runner that got him doubled off. Well, we assume it, but not all double plays are six four threes or something like that. Right there, it's just sort of a combination of good defense and poor base running, and probably more of the latter. That's a big turn of events in this inning, though. And now Anthony Volpe, Urshela, slings the first, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. But they take the lead thanks to a five-run outburst. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Tigers nothing. Back here in New York and on the hill here today, Garrett Cole. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them bottom of the first stepping in Parker Meadows in for a strike one one five run lead after their first at bat that is huge at this point but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas don't let that team back in this ball game cruise to the finish line but do it with intention he swings and fouls one off the 0 2 Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And first offering is fouled off. High fly ball out to center field. Judge is there. And there's two down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then... Oh, well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Tigers fail to make any noise. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit.
back at Yankee Stadium, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And a pitch. Tapped softly on the ground, Baez. The throw to first, and quickly one away in the second. Now, now third base. Back to the top of the Yankee order. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. That one fouled off. Rip to short. Throw on to Torkelson. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Here is Aaron Judge. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. On the ground. And that's just foul. Count remains 0 and 2. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you gotta get a pitch that you can handle. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1, 2, 3. Yanks held in check as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Back for more Leading from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. Foul ball. That one ripped, but foul. Owen oh Chu now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Ball Close one. one doesn't get the call. Ball one. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Batting fifth. Here's no Mark Hanna. Mark. Mark. Hanna. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something ah. to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there that with hard stuff. Yeah. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Keith. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two outs. And a foul ball. Bounce to the right. Throw on to Rizzo. Three up, three down, inning over. Tigers are shut down there. It's 5 nothing. And we're back. Leading New inning getting game. started. Now the it's right the right fielder, Juan, Juan Soto. Soto. Wentz back to work. And first offering is fouled off. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, 
and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Now bad. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The 0 1. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now bad. And here is Anthony Rizzo. A double and a run scored his first time up. Hammered on the line to the left. Base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Glaber Torres. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And Glaber Torres retired. And that'll do it. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a 5 0 lead. Back now in the Bronx. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Gio Urshela. And the pitch. Close one doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Great the ball in there for a strike. Ball slider so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Caught him looking for the K. Man, he had the stanky leg on that one right there. That curveball just locked That's him up. Stop. The batter now, Javier Baez. Baez. And first offering is fouled off. If they did a poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javier Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get Ball, a little bit high. locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The Yankees leading by five here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss, and the count even at one. One one. And there's a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Nine straight retired here to start the game. On to inning number four. It's the Yankees five and the Tigers nothing. Back in the Bronx, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Alex Verdugo. And the pitch. In the air out to center. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, 
they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And Baez, off balance feed, there's one. Relay to first, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Trevino will hit next. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to first. Out. And they go down fast. Three outs on three pitches. Bottom of the fourth. Go, now here is five, Parker five. Meadow. The, 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 the pitch. Meadow. On the ground right side. Torres handles. Gets it to first. Out. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out the of the air. Number Let's the defense work behind him with another ground Nine. ball. Good execution. Three. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Got Yankee it. Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Two out spaces empty. to the left zips it to first one away here in the fifth saying he's four homers in 22 games at old Yankee Stadium what do you remember well I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game and you know before that game in the clubhouse there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit the right Juan Soto now, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. You're Andy Abanez coming into the game now as the injury replacement. Now playing first. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. Andy Abanez. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 1. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. The 0 1. Fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. Way back there. Throws it in on the warning track. To second with the throw. No chance to get back. It's a double play. No runs on two hits. No errors. And a runner left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Tigers nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH. Gary Carpenter. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. Pulls that one foul. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Got him looking. One gone here. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the now same page right now. Left field. Here's the Mark. left fielder, Mark Canna. Canna. Struck out swinging his first time. 
Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Throw on to Rizzo. Old man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Now that Colt second Keith digs in now. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division Ooh. series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Chopper right side. Fires over to first. And the Tigers retired 1-2-3. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Miguel Diaz. Now, now I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. It just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. The swing and a soft liner. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oh, this has been a really okay. nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. Glaber Torres up to hit. This to center field. Calls it in, and there's one away. Devonia takes it to the bag. Nice job to recover from the offline throw. Two outs, base is empty. Alex Verdugo getting ready to hit. Ripped on a line. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He sends one out the opposite way, and they add a couple more. It's 7-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Jose Trevino. And first offering is fouled off. The Yanks up big in this one, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Out there to center. Meadows settles under it. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now. Here at New Yankee Liga, Stadium Liga. in the Bronx, Gio Urshela steps in. Liga. Cole, back to work. Urshela. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Javi Baez digs in right side. Javi Baez, like fellow Puerto Rican Francisco Lindor born in Puerto Rico but was drafted in the first round out of high school in Florida. You'll want. Ripped on the ground a second. Baez gone out. on the play. He's controlling things out there on the mound the not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode yeah. since the very start. Roger. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. In there for strike one. And it really looks no like ball. these hitters One have strike. been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, uh -huh. but they've not been able to commit no to ball. one velocity and stay there. The wind of the pitch. Oh. He goes down Three. looking. Down in order go the Tigers. They continue to. 
Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's bad. And that one is out of here. So he blasts one out the other way, and they add to the lead. It's 8 0. First pitch changeup, and he was all over it. Not sure if he was expecting off speed or not, but he picked up on the velocity and punished it. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger. Shelby Miller gets now the call from the pen. Well, they need someone to stop Number the bleed 18. and keep the score right Shelby. where it is. Seems like a Miller. tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And first offering is fouled off. One run across in the frame so far here at the top half of inning number seven. And big swing and a miss. The real threats oh, are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. And a foul ball. Miller. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Meadows snags it on the run. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control and command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. In the air, right field. And it drops in. And that extends the inning. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Swing and a foul straight back. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Lifted in the air, out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. Set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Popped in the air. Left field. Pulls it in for the out. Changing speeds has this lineup completely oh off God. balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Here's Riley Green. Right through there for his strike. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Volpe makes the play. And yeah, there's two away. Now bad. The first base base. Andy. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Detroit, Andy Abanez. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0 2. Just a slow ground ball this time to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, unfortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, no, 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 so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. 
So now it's the full hole hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Canna in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. In the air, left side. Grabs it on the run, and that is that. Tigers strand a pair, still 8 nothing. For the top of the eight, and stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Miller back to work. Gets to it with a slide. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. And he hits a ground ball right side. And Verdugo is set down. And now Anthony Volpe. He's already homer here in this one. Popped up. Keith sizing this one up. Corrals it. And that is that. Bottom of the eighth. And now here is Colt Keith. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Calls it in and there's one away. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. On the ground and that's through. Their first hit of the ball game. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, and he was just five outs away from the no-hitter, Boog. Heck of a game he's had. An excellent performance, but now he's got to get right back to attacking the next guy. Baez in the box again. Takes a strike. The Yankees up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Bounce to the left side. Foul. And it goes just foul. The pitch. And they'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man at first, one away. Stays alive. down looking frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball sometimes you can overthink things and I think that was the case right there Rogers in the box now no balls in a strike right side and foul ball two outs and a swing and a miss and that will end the inning. That'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Miller, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, and he works in a slider. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. Up the middle. Now one gone in the ninth. Now Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Out. Sends it to first, two up, two down. It's Aaron Judge now. 
And Judge spoils that one. Two down, nobody on. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. A gigantic blast, and they boost their lead. It's 9-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Two outs, nobody on. And next for New York, Juan Soto. Keith. Throw sails over his head at first. Now well, an error out. like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. And that one finds its way through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The bat. The first base. base. Anthony. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate. Out towards right center field. Keith has this one sized up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 9 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. So digging in, Riley Green. And the pitch is in for a strike, going one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. And he'll two. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Puts it away for the out. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, yeah, yeah, yeah. at times First pitch to contact, let the defense Andy. work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And first offering is fouled off. You just don't see it that much anymore, a guy being this efficient and getting this deep. Over to Torres. That they weren't overzealous there. Just take the sure out, keep the run out of scoring position. So they're down to their final out. And next is the designated hitter, Kerry Carpenter. This to third, and that'll do it. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished where he started. Nine nothing, your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.